in the boxing ring, on the running track, across the football field, and even on the dance floor. The Olympic spirit is coded into every line of the AI that is driving these steel athletes as they fight for glory at the very first world humanoid robot games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Stop, guy. <No. laughs> Over 500 robotic competitors gathered at Beijing's National Speed Skating Oval for the inaugural event. Engineers from 16 countries, including Germany, the Netherlands, and the US, are here to put their software algorithms to the ultimate test. Hi, I'm Max from the HTWK Robots. We are a robot football team from Leipzig, uh, Germany. Our team has existed for 16 years, and I think this is by far the biggest and grandest stage we've had. The coaches, or rather, the programmers, demand no grueling drills from these athletes. Tactics are fed straight from their laptops into the blank slate robot provided by the organizers. Their programming doesn't just give the robots the ability to shoot the ball. It also powers teamwork. You have to tell everybody else where they are, find out where everybody else is, find out where the ball is, and then you try to see, okay, where are the obstacles, where are paths that I can take, and which paths will be free. It's the strategy's dynamics. We don't decide, but they have options. That is when the real heavy lifting begins for the programmers. Yes, yeah, so robot running competition is pretty difficult especially for coaches I think rather than for robots themselves because as you see coaches need to follow their robots all the way on. Coaches from the Unitree Robotics team warmed up before the race to keep up with their athletes. Their efforts paid off. Their robots took the championship in both the 400M and 1500M events. The event features 487 competitions across 26 disciplines. Besides sports, robot competitors also took part in dance performances and took on real life challenges, from hotel services to warehouse logistics and industry scenarios. Notably, engineers from all countries choose to run their coding creations on humanoids from China. These robots from China, I feel like China is very advanced in the robotics field, and currently in the US market, there isn't a lot of options. Unitree basically has one of the only robots that you can commercially buy and develop on. And Unitree provides a library, essentially, which allows you really deep control to control every motor individually. Now, the robots are already bringing some of Huang's boldest ideas to life, drawing on the expertise of top robot researchers from China and the US. He dreams that his research may someday reshape people's lives. Huang believes that, partially thanks to events like the World Humanoid Robot Games, human-friendly humanoids will deeply engage with our daily lives within three to five years. Uh, in 2024, China's robotics industry reached a total scale of 47 billion US dollars, representing 40% of the global market, and it continues to thrive. While humanoids may still look clumsy and amusing at times, their potential is only limited by the human imagination. They are growing into our vital companions towards a brighter future.